Okay, so we just went over advanced PTZ and standard PTZ. Um, one thing we haven't gone over is user management. Um, just to go over it real uh, quickly. Um, now that you've added and discovered all your devices and set up everything, um, you need to add some users. Um, so there's user roles and permissions. There's create a custom user role, create a new user, integrate and configure an LDAP server, and email notifications, how to set up an email server. All right. So we're just going to go over user roles and permissions for the most part. The rest of them are links to articles where you can look up how to do um, custom user roles and LDAP servers. Um, how to set up your email server. Um, right now we're just going to go over the general user permissions dialog. So when you want to add a user in NX Witness it's pretty simple. Right? Um, go into the system. Disconnect for this and go back into my office demo system here. Reconnect the cloud. That kicked off. All right. Welcome screen, Tony Office demo. Got to restart in the proper client because it's in 4.0, not in 3.2. So now the 4.0 client has connected to my system. Um, go to system administration and click on users. Right. Um, here is where you're going to go and create new users, new user roles, set up your LDAP settings, all that kind of good stuff. We'll go over it real briefly. Um, to create a new user, you got two user types. You got a local user and you got a cloud user. Uh, what do you think the like? What do you think the difference is between those two? The local user would be someone on site, and a cloud user would be able to remotely connect. Correct. A local user would be someone that can connect directly to the servers, either through a VPN or if they're on the same subnet and LAN, they can see the system directly. Right, they've got to have a direct connection to the system. It's got to be dynamic DNS or or a VPN or a local area network, right? Or a wide area network. Um, so they have a direct connection to the system. They're not connecting via NX Cloud at all, right? So they have to be able to connect locally. They have no connection to cloud. A cloud user is someone who's going to be added in NX Cloud, right? So then they will only be able to connect. Uh, sorry. They will be able to connect via cloud from anywhere. They can also log in locally, like a local user. Right? They don't have to connect to, through cloud, but they can. A local user has to log in locally. They can't connect through NX Cloud. And that's the primary difference, right? So if you're creating a cloud user, all you really need to do is get put in the email address and then assign your role, right? If you've got custom roles set up, those roles will show up in cloud for that system as well, okay? Um, to set up roles, you just go in and add a new role. Uh, underneath the role info, you name the role, right? Under permissions, you have edit camera settings, control video walls, view event log, view archive, uh, user input, export archive, view bookmarks, all that kind of good stuff. Underneath the cameras and resources, you can just apply specific cameras and resources or give access to all of them, right? And then layouts, when you've created layouts, you'll be able to share individual layouts as well. Now, if you share a layout with someone, and they have an and they have a advanced viewer setting, uh, advanced viewer, um, uh, yeah, advanced viewer uh, role. They're going to be able to change the settings on that camera, even if you haven't shared that camera with them, because you have shared that camera with them and you shared it with them in a layout, right? So you got to remember what you're sharing and where you're sharing and how you're sharing, right? Um, so that's basically how you create a new role, right? Uh, for LDAP, it's a little bit more complicated. If you don't know what you're doing with LDAP, my general suggestion is stay away from LDAP um, because LDAP is an older technology and it requires um, some configuration. So you're going to need to get your Windows administrator involved in this, right? When you do set up LDAP, there's another video that explains how to do it. Um, you can um, you can pull in the user information and passwords from LDAP so that you don't have to create the users. You just pick them and give them access to the system. Right, really only applicable for big, big customers for the most part who use LDAP. Right, um, most uh, newer companies, younger startup companies have moved away from LDAP for the most part. But if you need it, it's there. Right. So that is user management inside of NX Witness. It's pretty simple. By the way, if I want to go in and change a user at any given point in time, I can. 
Um, the built-in roles administrator, advanced viewer, viewer, live viewer, and custom. To see the specific roles um, and what they have associated with them for the built-in roles, you can go to the um, support portal and we have a nice little uh, table here that shows you what the features are of the built-in roles. So that's user management. Any questions? All right.